Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jake from TNJ. And I mentioned last episode that I wanted to watch this game. And I just wanted to throw out a little bonus episode here. And I just wanted to take a look at this because I'm actually really interested in this. This is number two versus number three. And this is a great matchup. I mean, these guys are loaded. Georgia has the number one offense probably and the number one defense. Look at the schedule from Alabama. They messed up everybody in their way. And just look at Georgia. I mean, they pretty much did the same thing. 52-3 to from Georgia Tech the last game. That's just amazing. So we're, we're going to just commentate this. I want to see how these guys are going to do. Here is Jake Fromm out onto the field to start the game. Giving the ball off to Swift, and Swift is going to take it 10 yards for the first carry of the game so here is from on a second and nine from the shaka he's gonna throw out to the right side that's gonna be incomplete thrown out of bounds and i don't know where he was really throwing that one to be honest so third and nine facing a blitz here throwing down the left sideline that's picked off by alabama and i don't know anybody's name on alabama i don't really know anybody and he's, it's picked off by number 13. And now they're set up at about the 35-yard line. Here is a carry out to the right side from Kevin Parker. This is a guy that they actually recruited a couple years ago. And he's finally getting his first uh, action of starting. But here on the next carry on a third down, he's getting stopped behind the line. And that's actually a loss or only a gain of one, not enough for the first. So now here is Jake Fromm. Still in the first quarter here, finding Holloman for the 12-yard reception on the sideline. So second and 12, handoff to DeAndre Swift, and he's not going anywhere. He got clobbered on that one, and he makes it a third and 16. Here is Fromm throwing the screen pass out, and that's not going to work. Alabama is ready for that. This is Bama. I mean, come on now. Screen on a third and long. They have that locked down. So here is Alabama back out on offense, giving the ball off to Kevin Parker for a gain of 13. You know, Alabama just breeds running backs. That's what they do. And here's a deep shot to Jerry Judy. He's inside the 20 yard line and they're set up inside a field goal range. So the first big play of the game goes from Tua to Jerry Judy. And Judy's actually a senior this year, I expect him to probably be drafted in the first round. So here on a second and eight, here's a throw out to the left side. This time finding Judy is Tua, and that's a gain of about four. So the lights go out in the stadium. Now my controller actually fell asleep here, and they end up kicking this field goal, and they ended up making it. So now they take the three-nothing lead as here is DeAndre Swift getting the handoff, and he's picking up a nice gain of five on the next possession. So now past the 50-yard line here on a third and five. Jake Fromm, nice blocking. He's going to get rid of it down the left sideline. An open man, and he's going to not throw it in bounds. His guy's actually going to be out of bounds on that one, so they have to punt the ball away. So now here is Tua back out onto the field, throwing a laser across the middle of the field, but that's picked off, and a another turnover in this game. I'm pretty surprised. These are guys that don't really turn the ball over. Tua and Jake Fromm, they have an interception each as now Jake Fromm's back out onto the field. Running a read option. Don't really see this much from Drake, Jake Fromm. He picks up eight yards on that one and moves the ball closer into field goal range. So now second and two. Here's a handoff to Swift. He's got a lot of room to the right side, and he's picking up nine yards on that carry. So now second and two. Here, a counter play to the left side. They're getting inside the 10-yard line on that carry from Swift as now they're set up first and 10. Jake Fromm on the read option. He's keeping it again and picking up nine yards. Where is this Jake Fromm, and where has he come from? So now on a second and one, here is Jake Fromm. This time scrambling. He's getting in untouched. Touchdown. That's from two yards out, and Georgia is going to take the touchdown lead is here their kicker actually lines up to kick the field goal Bruh. and he misses the extra point I don't know what happened there look it's not even close he just absolutely just I don't know he just missed it 
So now on a second and 11 on the next drive, here is two and throw it across the middle to Townsend. And he gets absolutely destroyed on that one. So now close to the 50 yard line, here is Tua under center. He's throwing over the middle. <laughs> wow, these SEC defenders are hitting guys hard and that's about a gain of six. So now third and one, quick throw out to the left side and that's gonna be caught by Devontae Smith for six yards and a first on that one. So third and five, here's Tua winding up, throwing down to the left sideline and that's gonna be dropped as that could have been a big opportunity as here they line up for the long field goal at about the 38 yard line and that one's not even going to be close. So two missed field goals, one from deep and one on an extra point from Georgia. And now here comes Georgia back out onto the field here with four minutes left in this first half. So here's DeAndre Swift. He's had a big half so far. He's picking up a gain of 10 as they eventually do move the first down sticks. So now here's a screen pass out to the left side. That's actually Karis Jackson, and that's actually a nine yard reception. So Jake Fromm on the read option. He's moving upfield and picking up a gain of eight. That's so funny that they're running the read option with Jake Fromm. He's definitely just a pocket passer. He can move a little bit. I can't lie, he can move a little bit, but not to run the read option, especially now versus Alabama. So now here they are lining up for another field goal. Can their kicker hit this one? And he misses it again. What is going on? This kicker is off. I think he barely missed that one, but still, I mean, that's one you got to hit. So now they leave some points on the board here in a 6-3 to three game here with two minutes left in the first half. Here's a throw across the middle to Jerry Judy, but he's going to fumble, and this ball is going to be on the ground. So, wow, I don't know what's up with Jerry Judy on that one. He didn't really have a lot of room to run anyway. I mean, I don't know what he was trying to do there, but he coughs it up, and now Jake Fromm comes back out onto the field. So here's a laser to the sideline that time, finding Demetrius Robertson on the sideline, and that's a first down. So now a minute and a half left in the first half. Here's another option keeper, and Jake Fromm almost gets into the end zone, and he's inside the five-yard line. So now at the two, here is Fromm throwing to a wide open man in the corner of the end zone. That's Tyler Simmons for a one yard touchdown catch as they line up for another extra point. And look at this one. <laughs> I mean, that's just in the tunnel. I don't know how this kicker is shanking these kicks, but for some reason he is just off this first half. So now they're in a 12 to three hole. Here is Alabama throwing the ball deep to end the first half. And that's Jerry Judy, and that's a touchdown. One of the top receivers in the nation. He's about, I think he's actually is 99 overall. He gets open, and Tua on that throw breaks the single season record for passing touchdowns, and he throws 37 in this one. So now we go into halftime with a 15 to 10 game. This is actually a pretty good game. So now to start the second half, here is Georgia back out onto the field. Can they play some defense on Tua and stop him? As here is Alabama throwing out to Jalen Waddle. That's actually a guy that I'm actually looking out for in the future. I think he's going to have a pretty bright future in the NFL. Here is a run to the right side, this time by Frank Eaton getting in for the 11-yard gain. I really like the Alabama receivers. You know, they actually do have really good – NFL careers when they do move up to the NFL. I mean, look at a guy like, you know, uh, Amari Cooper comes to mind. Just, just a whole lot of superstar receivers, Julio Jones. I mean, all these guys that come from Alabama, I mean, they always end up making good in the NFL. And you can see their kicker's actually on. He hits the long field goal on that one, and they finally hit a field goal. So now in a 13-15 to 15 game, here is Jake Fromm. Back out onto the field at the 30. He's throwing the ball to the left side. That's actually caught, but Tyler Simmons loses ground. He had the first down and came back and actually left it at a fourth and one, so they ended up punting the ball. So here on the next carry, here's a fumble, and that's a fumble by the running back that time, and luckily they scoop it up and they retain possession. So now here is Tua from the shotgun throwing out to the right side. There's an open man. That's actually Devontae Smith, 33 yards, and he just beat the press coverage on that one. That's a big game. 
So now towards the end of the third quarter, here's Tua. He's in trouble. He's getting sacked. And this is actually the first time I think I've seen a sack this entire game. So now to start the fourth quarter here on a third and 19, here is Tua from the shotgun trying to get away, and he gets sacked again. That's a loss of three, and that's going to end any type of points on that drive as their kicker actually was pretty good. He hit the long field goal last time, but they end up punting it away. But here is Fromm throwing the ball deep, and he's picked off. Oh, my. With the two-point lead, that's the last thing you want to do here in the fourth quarter, set Alabama up with great field position. And now here they come back out onto the field. So now here, after moving the ball a little bit at the 25, here's Tua keeping it on the read option. And he actually loses a lot of ground. That's a loss of four. So now they're at the 30 yard line. Third and 15, here is Tua from the shotgun once again. He's throwing the ball deep and that's caught. Devontae Smith goes up and straight mosses for that catch, wow. So now Alabama takes the four point lead. They're going for it on the two point conversion. Throwing the ball across the middle and that's deflected. But wow, what a catch that time to take the lead. So now here in, in uh, the fourth quarter, three minutes left. Here is a throw out to the sideline. That's not gonna be a gain of anything as Jake Fromm is here at a third and 11. Can he be clutched? Throwing out to the sideline. He throws for about six yards for DeAndre Swift. As here we go, fourth and five. Can they convert? Jake Fromm from the shotgun. He's going to try to scramble, but he gets tripped, and he's not going to make it. And just like that, Jake Fromm cannot move the ball there, and they eventually go on to win this game, Alabama does as wow, they're headed for another national championship. Wouldn't it be something if, you know, these two teams, I mean, we kind of saw last episode that, you know, a couple of teams were losing. Ohio State uh, ended up losing to Nebraska in the conference championship, I believe. Um, and then also Oklahoma sitting back there as well. So that would be kind of funny to see, you know, these two teams actually rematch or something in the national championship. If that happened, that would be pretty funny. But we are going to sim ahead a little bit and just see, you know, how the other games do. Here in the ACC championship, Clemson actually gets beat down by Virginia Tech. So this is kind of funny. So we actually advance ahead a little bit just to see where we end up in the bowl season. And Tyler Nevins actually finishes fifth in the Heisman voting. And then look at this. We get our rematch, West Virginia. So West Virginia ended up being 6-6 six and six on the season, and they actually ended up collapsing. When we played them, they were actually ranked, and we get our rematch because they beat us down the first time, gave us our first loss. So now we get to see who's in the national championship, and look at this. It ends up being Alabama and Georgia. So, wow, this is actually pretty funny. Georgia actually was number two in that game. They actually stay at number two, and Alabama moves up to number one. That's actually something I've never seen in this game. And I thought this would only happen in real life, where these two would actually play in the conference championship and then play in the national championship. But it happened in the game. That's actually pretty funny. So I'm actually going to show some highlights of that probably before the offseason video. I'm going to record it and watch it and show you guys some of that. So that's actually going to be a pretty good game. So we actually get matched up for West Virginia. So that's going to be a good game going into bowl season. So hit subscribe, hit that like button. I just want to give you guys just a bonus episode seeing this Georgia and Alabama game. So stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go.